Impossible? We thought so. Unimaginable? We thought that too. This desert ant wants to go here for lunch. Tempty, tempty, tempty. Because she's in the desert, there is no scent trail. So, how does our little ant find her way home? I know. Well, some German and Swiss scientists think that ants have pedometers in their brains. Yeah. Meaning maybe there are brain cells inside a desert ant that record every step the One, ant takes two, as three, she four, walks five, out. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then when it's time to go home, they just reverse eight, and nine, count eight, backwards. Eight, eight, nine, four, three, three, it's a nice idea, but how do you prove it? Okay, scientists designed an ingenious experiment. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which lets us see literally see these pedometers at work. So we'll take an ant, we'll call it Ant number one. Okay. So ant number one, we want to watch you take ten steps to the food source. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten steps home. Ten, nine, eight, ten, five, five, six, now could you just go back to the apple? Ten. Thank you. Now, ant number two. She also marched to the food source, but when she got there, they grabbed her and super glued little pig bristles. They're kind of like stilts. So now she's a much taller ant, and therefore every step she takes will be that much longer. Careful. Careful. And finally, ant number three. She also walks ten steps to the food. Again, they grab her. This time they do something a little gruesome. Um, we're cutting your legs off at the knees. What? Yeah. Sometimes we've all got to make small sacrifices for science. So because your legs are now much smaller, from now on, every step you take will be much shorter. I feel all stumpy. Yeah. Okay, now comes the fun part. When everybody was ready, the ants were released. Off they go. And here's what happened. The stilty ant, she walked ten steps home and stopped. No, you're not. What? Because each of her steps is now so much longer, she'd gone right past the entrance. What the? The stumpy ant. She also walked ten steps home and stopped. I know. But because each of her steps is now so much shorter, she only got part way back. I want my legs back. Sorry. And the last ant who was left alone, she gets home. With no problem, strongly suggesting that all these ants were somehow counting their steps. And just in case you're not convinced, that same day scientists move all three groups of ants back into the nest for the night. And the next day, all the ants were marched off to get food using their new legs. The stumpies took lots of steps. The stilties took fewer steps. The regulars took regular steps, and when it was time to come home, all the ants, all three groups, went straight home. Their pedometers apparently had adjusted to their new leg size, so ants, it really seems hard to avoid this conclusion, do have pedometers in their heads, or another way to say it is, ants count. Yeah, I want my legs back. <laughs> Yeah.